Crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So this week I am really excited to show you a new technique with sublimation. So a couple weeks ago I showed you how you could sublimate on some um, white vinyl and you could get a nice um, sublimation on 100% cotton. But I want to show you, look at the sweatshirt I have on right now. This is a 100% cotton sweatshirt, and this is sublimation on it. And I just absolutely love how it turned out. So I can't wait to show you this technique. So I discovered this as I was doing some, just some research um, on different ways to supplement. Because everybody's always talking about, what about 100% cotton? I like 100% cotton um, when I'm wearing it. I just think it feels good on me. And sometimes people don't want polyester all the time. So I did a little bit more research trying to see all the different options. I've showed you guys a few already and I'll make sure I link those ones down below in the description box. But this time I'm gonna show you a um, process that is used with DTE transfer and it's almost like a sand. So we're gonna use this and we're gonna use um, special DTE film, okay? So this is a film that's got a glossy side and it's got more of a matte side to it, okay? So what you are gonna need to do is you definitely need your sublimation printer. Now I've had a couple questions on sublimation and they've been asking me, do I need a special printer for sublimation? So there are printers out there that are made specifically for sublimation. But what I did is I purchased an Epson and I converted it. And there are lots of YouTube videos out there of how you convert it. And what I mean by converting is I changed the ink and I put in a sublimation ink. So that is the really important part here. You've got to have sublimation ink. So in the past, I've also told you, you need to have a sub paper, which is my absolute favorite paper to use for sublimation. But in this case, this is DTF film paper. Now, when I bought it, I guess I didn't realize I was buying ledger size paper. So I've actually just cut this down to be the size that I need for my design. Now, I will tell you, it struggles getting through your printer right because it is a filmy type so i've learned a little um, method that helps me get it through my paper and so um, or my printer i guess i should say so what you do is you take a regular piece of copy paper and i'm going to move this white out of here so you guys can see this a little bit better i've got a regular piece of copy paper and i've got my dtf film okay so the Glossy side is the non-print side. The matte side is the print side. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some painter's tape and I'm just gonna put a piece of painter's tape at the top of this. And then what that's gonna do is that's gonna help start get my paper through my printer. And so I'm just gonna do a little piece like that and now depending on how big your design is, you want to be really careful that you don't do your design so big that it covers up um, where your painter's tape is, okay? So we've got our paper ready to go. Now what I did is I just went ahead and I am going to do another Fun Stuff Crafts and I have got a Glidden 100%. Well, I don't think it's 100%. Let me take that back. I believe it's a heavy cotton. This is 90% cotton and 90% cotton and 10% polyester. So we're going to do it on this shirt. Now, if you guys have ever tried supplementing on cotton before, you know the black kind of comes out, but the colors definitely do not come out. And so what we're going to do is I've went ahead and I've already designed my print and there really wasn't a whole lot of design to it because it's just my logo. And I am using my sublimation settings, so I'm gonna mirror image my design, and then I am going to put it on just normal setting. Now, normally when I supplement, I normally do high quality setting. 
One thing I've learned with my Epson is if I do a high quality um, print, the, pr the ink really bleeds on this paper. So I'm just doing the straight setting for regular paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go over and put this through my printer and then I'm gonna meet you back here and I'm gonna show you where, where this comes in to make this all happen. So give me a second, I'm gonna go over to the printer, I'll get it printed for you and then we will get pressing on this shirt. Okay, so I'm back from my printer and this is what my design looks like. Okay, so it is a mirror image and I am just going to remove that tape and I'm gonna remove that piece of paper. So we're done with that. Now, what I like to do is I like to bring in just a piece of plain paper and I'm gonna lay my design right on top of it, okay? Now we're gonna take our um, DTF transfer adhesive, okay, it's a powder. I think it kind of almost looks like a sand. And what we're gonna do is we are going to sprinkle it and it adheres to the ink. So just give it a good cover and then we're gonna pour back the excess right into the bag. So there's no waste here, you guys. This bag is gonna last me quite a while. And then I'm just going to take it down. And one thing you want to think about here, you guys, is you wanna work fast. When that ink is wet is when you wanna get the transfer adhesive on. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over, I went ahead and moved my heat press over, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring my heat press, excuse me, I'm gonna add a piece of paper there on it, burnout paper, always use burnout paper when you're using your heat press. I'm gonna take my shirt, just like I normally would when I am um, doing a, a design on it. I'm gonna bring it in here and I am going to warm it up. And basically what you're doing when you warm up your shirt is you're taking away any dampness. So we wanna make sure that we give it just a quick press. I would say like five to 10 seconds, no more than that um, when you're doing um, that quick press, okay? So I'm just gonna give it a quick warm up. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my lint brush just to make sure I got all the lint out. Looks really good. Now, I can see where the top V, my shirt had a V, I can see right where it's at. And I'm gonna put this design right on top, okay? So, adhesive side down. So my gloss side is gonna be up and my adhesive is gonna be down. And I'm gonna grab some of my tape I'm going to tape it on. Okay, so we're all set. This is all on. In fact, you guys, you know what? I'm going to grab my camera so I can get you guys over here closer so you can see what this looks like. Okay, so you can see a good view here of it. So I've got it taped on. It's ready to go. I'm going to put a piece of blowout paper on. I've got my tray all the way pushed in. I'm gonna bring this over, okay? My heat press is set at 385 degrees for 45 seconds, okay? So we're just going to engage it and we are gonna let that do its work and I'll join you back as soon as it's done. And the buzzer's going, so let's grab this off. Now this is considered a, not a, total cool peel, peel, but you do want to let this sit for a few minutes, okay? So I just like to give it a little bit of breathing room and just cool enough to the touch. And then what we're going to do is voila. Oh, this is so exciting. And look at that, you guys. Look how nice that turned out. See how nice that is, those colors? And that is 100% cotton, excuse me, 90% cotton, 10% polyester shirt. Now, I will tell you guys, I did do a bunch of test runs on this. 
Um, I did try a darker color because I was really excited. I've got some really cute black um, aprons that are 100% cotton and I really wanted to supplement on those. It still does not work the best on the darker fabrics, okay? So, but I did do one like on a um, kind of a, a darker blue um, or medium blue. I'll, I'll grab it out of my closet. It's another fun stuff shirt um, that I did and I thought it turned out really nice. So you're gonna have to experiment a little bit with the color of the gar garment that you're using. But the plus is you can now supplement on polyester or on cotton. And I think that is another game changer. The reason why I like this method better than the other method I showed you guys is I don't need to put a background around it. I don't have to make sure I've got the, you know, the white um, showing. This one, as you guys can see, well, you guys can see on my shirt here, is there is no other background. It is just a design. So I just love how it turned out. And I think this, again, is another game changer for sublimation. So I am going to try doing some other colors and I will make sure I show you. So stay tuned here till the very end of the video and I'm going to show you the different colors that I had success with supplementing with the DT transfer adhesive and the DT transfer film. I will make sure I put links down below to both of these products. I grabbed everything off of Amazon so I will show you that. I did pick up a good deal on shirts at Hobby Lobby. They had them um, on you know, Hobby Lobby or Joann's. I went to both of them the other day um, and they had them on three for 12 bucks. So stocked up on some shirts. So I'm really excited now that I've got um, um, shirts on hand and I'm ready to go. So let me know what you think. Give this a thumbs up if you like this tutorial on another game changer in supplementation. Thanks for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. And here's a close-up view of that shirt we just made. Look at those colors. And here's an example of a coral t-shirt that I did. And then this one is that blue one that I mentioned. So I hope you enjoyed this Inspiration Friday.